It's Teresa from the Butterfly House Bed and Breakfast and I just wanted to share with you a little video this morning. I am in the mood to do some cooking today. It is very cold in Madison today. I think we got, if not in the single digits, even maybe a little below zero last night and so it's a very cold day. It's a great day to be in the kitchen doing something uh, warm and cozy and tasty and so today I'm going to try a new recipe so no promises on how this is going to turn out but it's a recipe I've been wanting to try for a while and I thought I would share it with you it's a sausage and cabbage uh, soup that I found a recipe for a little while ago and I've been anxious to try it out and so I'm going to go ahead and record that process I will warn you ahead of time I'm notorious for not following recipes really well um, I spent many years in the kitchen when my children were growing up. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I had six children uh, when they were all little and at home. And so cooking a lot of time was putting together whatever I had on hand in the pantry. And so I tend to improvise and add to and expand and make recipes <clears throat> kind of my own. So no guarantees on how this is going to turn out. It usually turns out pretty good, but I will try to keep record of everything I'm doing so that I could add that down below in the description. So if you want to try it, you can do that as well. So anyway, thank you for tuning in today and uh, let's get started.
Okay, so everything is simmering. I'm actually going to let the soup cook for a little while. I want that re to reduce down just a little bit. And I will go over a list in the description of everything that I added, a couple of changes that I made, and some of the spices that I added. I did want to explain that last ingredient that I added was about a cup of pork broth. And the way I got that is I had cooked a pork roast earlier last week. And when I cook any type of a roast, I always save the drippings, I always save the broth that it produces. And then I just put it in a glass bowl, put it in the refrigerator for a day. And then what will happen is any fat will rise to the surface and it will harden. And then you can just remove that fat and then you have a really nice stock uh, base. And since this is a sausage based soup, I thought that that broth would be a nice addition. So that was the cup that you saw me putting in there at the end. So I'm gonna let this reduce down a little bit and then we'll check back in. So there you have it, cabbage, sausage, potato soup and Paul and I are going to have this for lunch today, and I have to tell you, it's got a little bit of heat in it, um, intentionally. Paul and I tend to put a little cayenne pepper in just about everything we cook anymore, but that is certainly optional. You don't have to add that at all. Uh, we just like to have, have that little extra heat, but I uh, think it turned out really, really good. This is definitely a recipe I'm going to keep. It's perfect for cold winter days. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I would be very interested in hearing your comments. Those of you who decide to try the recipe, I'd love to know how you liked it, um, how, what changes you might have made to it, and just give me some feedback. So thank you again for taking the time to watch the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Uh, this is cabbage, potato, sausage, soup. With a little heat. With a little heat. <laughs> she, she would have that.